Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Baby Boomer Rising. My name is Grant. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today I'm sober. Uh, in this video, I want to talk a bit about what's been going on with me, as well as um, how I'm looking at uh, staying sober now and uh, probably a good tip for other people that are, um, you know, trying to figure out how they can uh, do this as well. You would think it would just be easy, right? It's, uh, you're drinking a toxin or a poison and uh, you know that it's not good for you, but we keep uh, falling back to the bottle. Uh, I've actually, um, I had a slip up in August and then uh, recently I did again and uh, but now I um, I feel I'm in a better place in, in my head uh, where I do really want to stay sober uh, had a, a little bit of a health scare and I'm sure it'll be fine I'm going to the doctor this week but um, I had uh, a couple years ago or three years ago, I was diagnosed. I had non-alcohol fatty liver and my weight really hasn't changed much since. I haven't drank very much since then, but uh, the problem with non-alcohol fatty liver is the snacking, all the extra excess carbs and things you consume. Um, you know, when, when you're drinking um, and then you eat, you eat that stuff and then your body f focuses on the alcohol. Uh, and stores all of the excess uh, sugars, etc., from the carbs um, as fat. But now, then when I was, then when I quit drinking, um, I kept snacking at night. I've done that almost nightly for a long time now. Uh, you know, when I'm sober, and um, I've just something happened over the last couple of days, and um, I really feel that uh, I've got the snacking part lick now. Um, I don't know how to get there in a, in a way that I could just tell you this is what you do. Well, I guess I do, but as far as like there's just one way and that's it and then you're there, it's for me it was just a matter of um, just, you know, as far as alcohol, just quit, keep, keep on quitting, you know, never stop quitting. And uh, now with the food, the snacking, um, it kind of the same thing. I, I uh, you know, finally convinced myself that uh, I need to stay away from the alcohol or from the sorry from the snacking at night after supper. It's not good for me. It's keeping the excess weight on no matter what I do, and that has to stop. Or non-alcohol fatty liver I could end up you know it's pre diab almost like pre-diabetes I could end up with diabetes and that's not somewhere I want to go I had uh, uh, my father-in-law passed away a couple months ago and um, you know I don't want to see my family hurt for me and I don't want to be gone either I enjoy life um, so I uh, I need to smarten up and you know I I have this I have this vision in my head this is this um, someone that I met through YouTube here that I've been chatting with in the comments um, she uh, she leaves some great comments uh, her name's Joyce and um, she she's left a few that have really um, gotten me to think about things you know in a certain way and um, I really understand like the way she you know the words she's saying and, and um, what she's trying to get at and the one thing is about you know you 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 have this picture in your mind of the person you want to be and uh, you just need to be that person right and I've had a picture in my head of the person that I feel that I, the man I want to be and uh, yet I always seem to struggle I always limit myself and I don't ever really get there and uh, one of the things is you know, being healthy overall with snacking or with eating and with exercising and, and sleeping. Um, yet I sabotage myself constantly. And I really feel that I'm at a point now where 
you know, it's not just about quitting the alcohol, it's everything else that goes with it. I have been exercising um, a little bit sl slack lately. Um, I've been working a lot of overtime and um, that might not be a great excuse, but it's, it's an excuse for me for now. Um, but it's the snacking at night. It needs to stop. It's not really who I want to be. Um, I don't enjoy those sleeps when I've got a full stomach and um, just, I, I really need to lose about 30 pounds. And um, so I'm on that now. And um, I don't plan on slip. You know, I never plan on slipping up with alcohol, but you know, sometimes we do and we just have to get back on the horse or the cart, the wagon and, and carry on. Right. So I'm in a good place there. I learned, um, I had learned that the last time in August I slipped up, I had learned that I need to just get alcohol out of my house. But before I did that, I had another incident or two. And, um, you know, trying to reward myself. And it's not a reward at all. Why would you, why would you do something great in your life, um, whatever it is, small things, you know, and, and feel that you need to reward yourself. So I'm going to pour, pour a, uh, an addictive poison down my throat to, re to reward myself. That's ridiculous. There are other options. Um, you know, even if you go the route of a sugary drink, you know, a smoothie or something that tastes fantastic and it's got a lot of sugar, but as long as it doesn't have the alcohol, like, that's even better. You know, it might not, still might not be the healthiest choice, but it's, it's a much better choice than drinking alcohol. So I've come to the realization that I need to learn how to reward myself in healthy ways. Um, I don't know what those are right now. I booked some massage appointments uh, for the rest of the calendar year, um, starting at the end of October, and that was the soonest I could get in. And um, I don't know, like at home, I don't know, um, you know, what I'll do. I need to start looking at things like um, bubbly water, you know, <laughs> that's my reward, that's a treat instead of just a replacement for something that's bad for me. So uh, I'm, you know, I'm in the middle of that. And, um, but the one big tip I want to talk about today, and I've kind of went off here, uh, maybe in the wrong direction, I apologize. Um, you know, when you're quitting drinking, you think that, okay, I'm going to quit drinking. And, you know, you, you think about like, the pre okay, I'm not going to drink today. I'm not going to drink today. And you do worry about peer pressure and things. And, and you, um, you find out quickly that nobody else really wants you to quit. Um, whether they realize it or not, you know, just by them asking you, you know, oh, just have one. Or it's okay if you just, you know, just have a few at a time. Just, you know, then cut, stop. But we can't all do that. Um, what I've just, because I have certain times of the year where... Uh, historically, I would have drinks, you know, uh, American Thanksgiving, I'm Canadian, but I, I've taken American Thanksgiving off for over 30 years from work. And I take the day off. And that's when I set my Christmas tree up and I watch uh, the Macy's Day Parade and I watch NFL. And I've always had drinks that day. And now I'm thinking, okay, that day, I'm going to get myself some type of uh, drink, a bubbly water or something, a treat. You know, I'm going to go looking for something that I want to treat myself with. And even though I'm not snacking at night, since I would normally have drinks throughout the day that day, I'm going to go and, and I'm going to look for a food uh, treat uh, to have during the day. Uh, it might even be something like wings or, you know, something um, not necessarily carbs or, or anything like that, but... And I'm thinking about Christmas, you know, um, th I'm, I'm looking ahead now. Okay, how am I going to deal with not drinking that day or that night? Or if I have to go somewhere after work with work people, or if I have to go to an event, how do I deal with that? You need to put a, pl a plan in place. That's what you have to do. You need to know today I'm not drinking. And look ahead and think about those moments in your life where traditionally you would have drinks. You get together with the girlfriends or the guys or whatever you do and 
think about how people are going to try to encourage you to drink and how you're going to tell them no. Um, you know, there's been times in the past where I've pretended I was drinking. I've had, um, you know, glasses of uh, Coke, Diet Coke with ice and, and uh, you know, pretend I'm drinking a whiskey or, or a rum. And, uh, you know, you, you have to go up to the bar or whatever, order it yourself and, and, and uh, you know, maybe offer to buy the others their drinks, but get yourself the, uh, the pop. And nobody knows, right? And after two or three with those people, they won't have a clue. Um, or they won't care after a while. Anyways, it's just that initial when you get going, people, they want everybody to celebrate, have a drink, have a drink. And um, you need to know how you're going to deal with it. And you can deal with it any way you want. It's your life. If you want to lie and say you're, you're, you're drinking but you're not, do it. <laughs> That's your life. You know, you're not doing anything uh, illegal or, or sneak, uh, sneaky. I don't even know if that's really sneaky. You're, you're taking care of yourself. Um, so that's, that's my, um, my thought for today is that, you know, you have to plan ahead. You have to look ahead. Look ahead at a whole calendar year from wherever you are today when you're quitting. Look ahead and look at those moments. Think about moments. Is it Christmas or Easter or Valentine's or, you know, July 1st or 4th weekend? Um, you know, what, what are the, or, you know, or yeah, do you go away in the summer and, and you go to the lake and, and that's usually when you have drinks for one or two weeks? Well, what other options are there? You know, don't wait until you're in this situation because then you're more you're, you're um, more likely to, you know, fail uh, if you don't have a plan in place. And I think that's been my, kind of my, um, my problem or whatever, my mistake uh, is that I, I knew I wasn't, didn't want to drink going ahead, but I didn't have a plan. How am I not going to drink? And can I replace the drink with something else? Uh, to treat myself, you know, if it's an award, if I work hard in the yard all day and, uh, you know, I want a nice big cold drink after, well, you know, maybe it can be a smoothie or, you know, something else, and, you know, or if I'm treating myself to a meal or, you know, don't have to have a beer or a whiskey or whatever with it. So have a plan. Um, I think that'll work for most people. You got to think about all the situations and uh, not just, you know, that today I choose not to drink and I won't drink. Um, think about what's coming up. Don't let peer pressure get to you. And as far as rewarding yourself, try to come up with another way to reward yourself uh, instead of turning to the bottle. I hope that helps. Um, I feel that when I get talking on this stuff, I kind of... Uh, you know, go off course a little bit, um, but I think you get the point. Anyways, it's, uh, what is it, Sunday the 19th, I think it is. My birthday is this, uh, this Thursday, September 23rd, so um, I might post a video that day. I don't know, but, oh, and another thing, I'm over 100 su subscribers now. I didn't... Uh, I didn't think about subscribers that much before. I just wanted to share what I was going through and um, hope that I could, you know, find some people that are going through the same uh, journey and process and maybe we could help each other. Um, but, and, and 100 subscribers, you might think, well, that's nothing. And, you know, it's not. It's But that's 100 people that chose to subscribe that... Um, felt a connection and and maybe they wanted to hear what i have to say or you know it might help them in some way and that's great um as that as my friend on here joyce said you know you need to find your tribe and i guess my tribe has 100 people in it so far so thank you everyone and i hope you have a great week ahead and i will see you again soon bye <laughs>